What's up everyone, GV64 here, and today we are here with uh, Tsukuni, Tsuki, I don't, I'm, I always butcher this, the Tsuki no Hana mod, uh, and there was a, actually a, I guess an update, I guess to use what you would call it, it's not really an update, it's more like, it's a new mod, but you must inst delete the old mod and install this one, and it will still say that you have the old one installed, anyways, what it does though, is that it adds in uh, two other swords. Uh, Hangetsu. Oh shit. And Jogen no Tsuki. Along with the Suzuki no Hana. Hello, Hombre. Jesus, man, calm down. But it adds in two more swords along with it, and it makes this one. Uh, makes this one a little weaker. Because the mod creator originally said. That he thought that the weapon was a little overpowered because you, he was able to one-shot death claws in some ever, er, at, in some areas. But yeah, this mod adds in a Wakizashi, the katana, and a tanto, and they all do have legendary forms, just like the Tsuki no Hana. Here is the tanto. I believe this is the tanto. Yeah, this is the tanto. The Yogi no Tsuki is the Tonto. The Hangetsu is the Wakazashi. And the Tsuki no Hana is still the Katana. So, all three of them are in the... So, the... There is the Katana itself, which looks very nice. Still, with all of its texture, glory, beautifulness. Then there's also... The other two, like I said. Let me find them in my inventory. Uh, yeah, the Jogen no Tsuki, which is much shorter. It uses the knife animations because it is a Tonto. That, that makes sense. And then we have the Hangetsu, which is a shorter version of the Tsuki no Hana because it is a, waga a Wakazashi. God damn, I am... It is hard to say Japanese words, but yeah, essentially it adds in all three of these really cool swords and it balances them out a little better so they're not ridiculously overpowered. That that's the whole entire gist of this mod. But if you like this content and you're in my channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, if we could reach 500 subscribers before December, I would be ecstatic. But yeah, the mod is very cool. I enjoy it. I ha I enjoyed it before the update, and I have enjoyed it now after the update. But the one important thing that you have to remember is that you have to uninstall the old one, and then reinstall the new one. And you can reinstall the new one and uninstall the old one at the same time and just load up your save file. But you have to do that in order for it to load properly. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, like I said earlier, hit that like and subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. Let's try and reach 500 by December. I know we can do it. And uh, other than that, I, if you want more mods of the day, I have a playlist on my channel. This should be more to the related below or to the right, depending on what system you're on. Or to the left, if you're a savage. But yeah, other than that, I've been your host, Jesus624, and I'm signing out. Farewell, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Where the hell is Hombre? Hombre! There he is. Hombre! Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode.